Timing belt versus timing chain, differences and which is better. Your vehicle will feature either a timing belt or a timing chain to maintain the engine's timings in order, allowing it to run safely and efficiently. But why is it either one or the other, and what's the difference? First, we must understand what these two distinct systems do for our vehicles. It's easy, they both serve the same purpose, they synchronize the rotation of the crankshaft and camshafts, allowing the engine's valves to open and close at the correct times. They both work in the same way, with the only difference being their shape and materials. The question is, which is better? Look no further, because this video covers everything you need to know about both of these engine timing systems. So, let's dive right in. What are the timing belt and timing chain? The timing belt is an essential component of your vehicle's engine, keeping many of the moving elements in perfect sync to create maximum efficiency and power. A faulty timing belt can result in catastrophic engine failure, so it's critical to keep up with any necessary maintenance and get the belt replaced according to the service period specified in your vehicle's owner's handbook. A timing chain, on the other hand, is an internal engine component used to synchronize the rotation of the camshaft and crankshaft, both of which are required to drive the wheels. The timing chain is a critical automobile component. Any vehicle that requires a timing chain will not be able to function without one. Why do cars not have both? A timing belt is generally selected when a quieter, more efficient engine is required. Because they are composed of rubber, they are also less expensive to produce, therefore automobile makers may choose to incorporate them into the vehicle. Because a quieter engine is more enticing to consumers, the timing belt is installed to produce a smoother sound. Timing chains are preferred over timing belts due to their longer lifespan, they seldom break, but any problems that do emerge are easy to detect before they reach the point of no return. A worn chain, for example, may begin to rattle audibly, alerting you to the fact that something is amiss, whereas a timing belt can snap without warning. What are the differences between the timing belt and the timing chain? Due to the fact that belt and chain are two commonly used in known terms, we all should be aware of the particular differences between these two timing systems. The primary distinction between timing chains and belts is that timing chains are constructed of metal chains, whereas timing belts are made of rubber. Although each has a distinct advantage and varies depending on the vehicle, technology has improved timing chains to allow for greater duration. Less overall noise and vibration in an engine are some of the positives. Some manufacturers also anticipate that their timing chains will serve a car for its whole lifetime. Since timing chains are found inside an engine, engine oil is used to lubricate them. Up until the late 1990s, timing belts were more common, less expensive, and used in more car models. Timing belts can reduce noise and vibration, but doing so requires frequent inspections and maintenance. Depending on the car, you should obtain a replacement every 55,000 to 90,000 kilometers. The manufacturer's advice is in your owner's manual. Timing belts and timing chains are both important components of your car's internal combustion engine. They govern the crankshaft and camshafts, which in turn ensure that the engine valves open and close at the precise times. How long do timing belts and timing chains last? Timing chains are more durable than timing belts due to their metal construction. As we mentioned earlier, timing belts, made of rubber, are less durable and require replacement between 55,000 miles and 90,000 miles. Timing chains can last as long as the vehicle itself. Both types of timing belts and chains should be checked for signs of wear and tear. If a belt breaks, it can be disastrous, with costly repairs making them impractical. In some cases, it may be better to consider a new car. It's crucial to pay attention to signs of wear and tear to avoid costly repairs and ensure the longevity of your car. Before we dive deeper into the timing belt versus timing chain debate, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. Stay tuned as we continue our exploration. Which is better, the timing belt or the timing chain? The question of, which is better, is unanswerable. Both systems are constantly being developed. Vehicle manufacturers have been moving away from chains for some time now because the friction loss with chains is too considerable. There are numerous options. Customers used to choose between a chain and a belt before making a purchase. The real worry, however, should not be with the timing system, but with the numerous tasks that we require an engine to execute. It is advised that we examine the engines of the vehicles we are interested in and look for any potential damage. Because both systems are equally spread globally, there is no winner between them. How much do timing belts and timing chains cost on average? To replace a broken timing belt, 
the engineer must remove several components, which increases the labor expenses of the work. A timing belt replacement typically costs roughly 300 pounds. A timing chain replacement, on the other hand, typically costs between 500 pounds and 1,300 pounds. You won't have to replace your timing chain as frequently, if at all, but the cost of doing so is more than offset by the component's extended lifespan. The chain itself will cost roughly 180 pounds, with most of the money going towards manpower. Whether you have a timing belt or a timing chain in your vehicle, it is critical to keep both in good working order to keep your vehicle safe and roadworthy while avoiding any unnecessary expenses. You may reduce the chance of being caught out by being vigilant and proactive with regular vehicle servicing. To sum it up, timing belts and timing chains each have their advantages. Your choice depends on your vehicle and maintenance preferences. Thanks for tuning in, and let's continue this journey to keep those engines purring.